What's up? Aiden here. You are watching my barn conversion vlog. Just getting on with things. Unfortunately, planning still hasn't gone through, so I'm doing other stuff. And um, one of the things today is uh, digging the trench for my boundary wall. I've already dug this trench, which is here. That's relatively straight, isn't it? So this is for the borehole. That borehole shed doesn't exist. Yeah, this is like a projection into the future. Don't know what that, like, there's nothing there really. So the water engineers will be coming back in a few days, sort out the filtration system, so I should be able to show you that. I'll walk you over to the boundary. So here we are. It's marked on the floor there, it goes out to that cone and then cuts across that way. And then uh, I've peckered out the trench there and uh, today I actually need to dig it so I've tried to line up the digger it's backwards at the moment so I can get a bigger reach down here and uh, I'll have to dig that last bit by hand against this big leaning wall looks like there's a load of water in the trench so that's probably gonna be fun let's get cracking million times a day in the day all today probably all tomorrow maybe in the next day uh, I'm gonna have to dig down until I hit solid ground I think I'm not really sure just gonna give it a go that little bit I just filmed might still be upside down hopefully I would have figured out a way of switching it, switching it around or I might just leave it upside down
try getting into that. Slight problem. I painted them green so you can see them. They're the old water pipes. I've done all of that. I'll show you the pipes and the bun. There you go. That's that bad boy. And uh, there's a couple of ones that have really been taken out over here. But yeah. Need to um, dig round that quickly and then uh, I've got the angle grinder ready. Cut for it. So you know I was uh, worried about keeping it straight, I've got it pretty straight, what I've been doing is on the blade, you see that beam there, I've been keeping it lined up with the edge, where I spray paint it green, because that's relatively straight, I don't know if the scaffold paints on there, but straight line. Beard time again, so I've done about 15 metres or so. I need to do 35 meters all together. That's how long the wall's gonna be. It's gonna be a brick wall and uh, 1.8 meters tall. Me and Lou, we've always liked them Victorian wall gardens. So that's the kind of feel we're going for. In an ideal world, I'd go all the way around, but it's just too much money. See you tomorrow. So it's been raining a bit today, I haven't done anything just yet. I've popped a screw fix and got myself a digger bar. I'm gonna sort this bit out just here and uh, make sure that's all done. And then I can crack on with the rest of the trench tomorrow. Um, I had a bit of a crisis because I realized that basically I haven't got anyone to help me pour the concrete and it needs to step in and I don't really know what I'm doing or anything. So I went on my builder and uh, put the job out there to basically fill in this trench. Grand work come round. He wants a grand, basically, labour plus VAT just to sort this out. So when I spoke to my neighbour, I just said, look, this, this is what the situation is. And I remember he saying that his builder was coming around next week. And I've spoken to him before. He converted their barn. And um, I just phoned him, so it looks like he's going to save me, basically. Um, I don't know whether he's going to be able to make it this week or next week. But um, he kind of talked himself into basically doing it because he could see that someone was trying to take the piss. It's, it, that's the thing, when, when you're in a situation, some people do. It's, it's not right, is it? But... Surprise, we have our first package. Even though I put a post box up, and obviously there's this over here, yeah. Whoever delivered it decided to just stick it on the floor right there. What was the point in that? Thinking about it, I might let them off. They might have just put it here or something, and it just blew off, maybe. Chats from the compost toilet. So that's what the package was for. It's a solar light, so I can have something in there. So it's got a little panel up up on the roof, and then we have a little pull switch, so you can see in here better. I usually sit with the door open and have a nice view, check out who's coming, that kind of stuff. So I just had a I had a chat with the builder again, my next door neighbour's builder, um, 
he's he couldn't make it as soon as he thought he might be able to but he's going to pop over saturday just to have a look he's a carpenter so i reckon he's gonna say he did mention it on the phone he said maybe we can shutter it and it will save you on concrete I've got a feeling that's what he's going to say because all, all the sides are missing, like it was just caving in. So we'll see what happens. And um, I spoke to the planning officer. They've made the balls up and they forgot to do the site notice. You know them silly little things that they stick on the lamppost to let all your like, busybody community people to make objections even though they live nowhere near you kind of thing you know them one of them so i need to they're gonna send it to me by email at some point then i'm gonna email it to my next door neighbors and then he's gonna print it off for me so i can stick it up on a lamppost you take a picture of it you send it to the council and then 21 days later you've got to take another picture of it to say say it's still there i hope that no one's objected even if they've objected they're probably going to ignore them anyway. Let's talk about sight lines. There's been a response from the highways as well. And uh, I think he's kind of saying it will meet me halfway. In between me saying I can't do it at all. And the original highways bloke saying you don't need to do anything. And then him saying I need to do 43 metres. I think he's saying look. You need to do something, so I might be able to achieve that up this way, halfway, instead of 43 metres, I'd say 21 metres if I move this, move that and then cut from there inwards, and I suppose I have to take out some of this wall, maybe if, see it gets this is the smaller bit and then it goes up taller there maybe if I cut all this back so the planning officer read his email to me she's emailed it to me as well I haven't checked it yet but um, I think he said oh, I still need to put a drain in across here even though I sent him a picture with a level from the road to here and it goes down like that and he still wants me to put a drain in what's the What's the point? The water don't travel uphill, does it? I don't. They're just crazy. Are they crazy? And and then I said, he said it needs to be three meters wide. And I measured this. I said it's six point one meters. And he's he's still saying I don't care. It still needs to be three meters, more than three meters. It's just. Are you fuck? Are you? A... Yeah. So let's do an update. I I spoke to that highway bloke in the end. Um, had a chat with him. It didn't even know it was my self-build, basically. Um, but he was all right with me. He was just like just like a normal human being. He was kind of like, look, I, I have to consider this from the fresh. So that's the reason why it's different to the last bloke. But just send me what you've got in terms of visibility. And I'll just put that as a condition. I think, I think that's what he says. So I've sent him over something. And he, he's, if you look up visibility displays, yes, you, you have to do it 2.4 meters back. But he said just do it from two meters, it'll be all right. And then you have to write, have to measure from the inside of the carriageway, not the outside, which doesn't really make sense, does it? Because you can see more over that way. Look at this. So that tastes like strawberries. I'm joking. <laughs> that that was my first glass of water. 
from our own borehole. That's uh, momentous. It's a bit weird, it comes out really like there's loads loads of bubbles in it. Loads of bubbles. I think that's to do with the iron filtration. Um, he did talk me through it. I can't remember any of it, so I can't tell you. Let's go and have a look at the trench. So that's pretty straight, eh? I, don't, I have no idea how people keep it so straight, but I've been using obviously the edge of the blade and then the spray paint on the floor. How do people normally do it? I had a bit of an issue. This bit is quite wide. It collapsed. I was like having a bit of a like mare with that bit because obviously I come off of there, got down to here. I had a chat with my neighbour, he said, chuck the smaller bucket on, which I did for a little bit, and then the ground changed again, so it was fine. So I might need to jump in there now and have a little bit of a dig with a spade, make sure it's the right thing, and uh, go from there, and then I've got to turn that corner, just do another about nine, nine metres, nine metres more, and then that'll be done and ready for whatever happens next so I need to obviously speak to uh, Matt the builder Matt the carpenter he's going to be over on Saturday and then he's going to put together a little plan I assume some of that needs shuttering and stuff because it's falling out but that's, that's, that's what it is I think this one's probably been long enough so what I'm going to ask you to do if you're still watching, you might as well hit the thumbs up button, subscribe if you don't already, hit the bell notification. Thanks for watching, see you later.